what's up guys my name is Frankness here and uh, I'm back with this video so this is our first tutorial on uh, CPAC uh, so CPAC is one of the softwares that we use in surveying and uh, geographical information systems so basically we are trying to show you guys how to get started with this software so please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section so to start with this software you need to create a new code and file that is if you have uh, a different type of survey so you go to open file then you navigate to the folder which you want to save that coordinate file so i do have my uh, folder here on my desktop and i'm gonna use that as my directory so i'm gonna name this uh, file let's say chase so you click open so it prompts you this page where you're supposed to add some uh, additional data which is more like uh, some settings that you need to do to your code and file in order to get the correct and accurate values at the end of the day. So I'm going to start to change my ellipsoid here. Of course there are plenty but I'm going to use uh, modified clock and for my LO system I'm going to use LO31 and projection is Zimbabwe and uh, the axis label is XY but orienting through the south then the file format is engineering and that is just fine like that and I don't have any constant at the moment so I'm going to leave that like that so you click OK so now we are now ready to enter our data so the first thing that you need to do is you add data so you click here and you input the name of the point that you'd want to enter into your SEPA coordinate file so let's say 23 slash t right so let me input the y coordinate it's minus 3298.01 and then the x is uh, 1966083.54 and then the height there is 1571.6 then you click a tick so your point is added and you can see it is appearing in our coordinate file so this is how you enter your values into your code and file and if you have uh, multiple points that you'd want to add you simply repeat the process it's an actually an easy process to do it so let's go ahead and try to enter uh, this point I have a point called town survey mark 1074 then the y coordinate for this value is minus four zero two six point three nine and the x is one nine six six one four seven point uh five three and the height there is one five one seven point uh eight six so we click this tick again so this is how you enter your data so we now have uh, two points in our coordinate file and they are now being stored in our coordinate file so whenever CPAC wants to do some computations it looks for those values into our coordinate file for it to do uh, CPAC computations so let me just go ahead and add uh, some uh, two more points we have here uh, minus three seven nine one point two eight then um,
So now we do have a four point in our coordinate file. So this is basically the way you do it to create a coordinate file. You simply end of the data, it automatically stores your data. You don't need to click save. When you click this ticky there, it's just going to input that data into your coordinate file automatically. So now if you want to view the data uh, sort of a working plan you go to cadastral then you go to working plan so it shows you the general layout of the point so we have another point here and we have another point here another here another here so these are the points that we have just added into our code and file so this is just called a working plan so that's it for today on this tutorial uh, our next video will be showing you guys how to import data from ask file uh, we want to copy the data from another file into our set pack so I'm going to show you how to import that data into that same coordinate file so basically it's an easy process you just need to know how to do it so i'll show you guys in our next video where i will be demonstrating how to import data from an arts file so this is just another file which sepak uses the most